Si tu ne vois pas un appel, Patrick, qui est ton yo, qui est ton agio, mais pour moi, tu n'y es pas. Tu es un seul, There are many orthodox spiritual books and biographies of contemporary elders and experiences in men's monasteries. However, the unique character of women's monasticism often remains hidden. Of course, there is neither male nor female in Christ Jesus, but at the same time, female monasticism has a distinctive quality. The spiritual height of nuns can be easily overlooked because they are not priests nor confessors in the strict meaning of the word, and so they manage to live a much more secret life than do many elders. That does not mean, however, that some have not reached the spiritual height of great elders. My husband and I moved to Greece in 2007. We enrolled in the Greek language school and afterward entered the university to study theology. I didn't know that during my time in Greece, while taking a master's degree at the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki, I would simultaneously be taking another degree at the University of Monasticism. St. John Chrysostom says, You greatly delude yourself in error if you think that one thing is demanded from the layman and another from the monk, because all must rise to the same height. And what has turned the world upside down is that we think only the monk must live rigorously while the rest are allowed to live a life of indolence. Following this conviction, we put ourselves into an environment that would strongly contribute to our own spiritual formation. And so I sought after the guidance, friendship, and instruction of nuns, those who are wiser than the world. I didn't anticipate learning enough to fill a book, but it turns out I knew very little and learned very much. I offer this collection of lessons so that those who have not had the opportunity to live among monastics might share in their light, the light of the world. By visiting monasteries, I believe I learned more about Christ, the church, people, passions, spiritual victories, and myself than I could have in any other place. These lessons will not be easily forgotten. Just as one's clothes sometimes smell of incense after being in church for a long service, so my thoughts, words, and actions have retained the scent of monasticism. Just as different aromas go by different names, so does the incense of monasticism. It is called love, dedication, obedience, humility, self-sacrifice, prayer, peace, forgiveness, friendship, tears, and laughter. Ultimately, it is the scent of holiness. Sister Theologia often asked me, what theology do you learn here? All we do is put you to work. To her question, I answer, let me tell you what I've learned. The Scent of Holiness Lessons from a Woman's Monastery is published by Conciliar Press and will be available this fall, 2012.